Alex, Vinny, and Dan. Hello. Hi, Abby. Abby. Are you ready for a VR experience that'll blow your mind? <laughs> Always. Are we going to the V-Rodeo? Yep. Buckle up, because you're riding a horse. I All think right. this might be our first V-Rodeo It here. is. I know. We have so much space. I'm glad we put this green room in. I, <laughs> Making you know, use of this. I, like, you guys never use the PSVR. I think I've used it the most, which is very weird. I think But I too. absolutely love the PSVR. I love it. I'm anti-helmet. Oh. Uh, so what are we looking at here, Abby? Um, this is Moss. It's a very good game. Let's start from this chapter. Um, so this is a game about a mouse named Quill. Okay. And Quill finds... Here, I'll pause so we don't spoil the story. Uh, so Quill uh, found a, a small piece of glass, basically. Um, and then when, once she found this piece of glass, she could see you, and you are called the reader. So you, you're sort of told a lot of the story through this book, uh, which you will see here with a narrator. Um, and then she kind of has to go on this journey because of the glass. And there's all this ancient stuff. And then there's like uh, evil has taken over this castle, yada, yada, yada. Classic is there a thing stuff. named Moss? Uh, or is Moss a problem in this world? I haven't <laughs> found it yet. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Moss is always a problem. <laughs> Moss. I don't know. But the the main characters, the girl's name is Quill and she's great. Uh, so this is $30 PSVR? $30 only PSVR. Um, so far, my favorite PSVR I have played. Um, and, and you are uh, going to try your best to keep your head... <laughs> yes, I will. I will not dance. Oh, God. Oh, uh, don't do that. Not 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 well, we all just vomited. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, ready? Yes. And also, I will just say for people watching, uh, sometimes the bottom of the screen... I'm going to do my best Yeah, it doesn't to... represent what Abby's seeing. Yeah, uh, okay, ready? Uh -huh. Yes. Small yet fantastical band of sprites emerged... How was this? Quill. Good. Good. I'm Veda, root seer of the mire. And you have crossed this voice actress domain. doing this familiar. She is great. Is I it, like her a lot. She is sounds it? a lot like the voice actress actress who's doing the reading of this audiobook I'm listening to, Warbreaker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's very good. Is I it, like her because she does all the voices, but it doesn't sound like she's doing voice. It, it, like they all sound very different. Mm -hmm. Right. The lady that does the tree in God of War, <laughs> the, like old wise tree. Is that the only voice actress you know? <laughs> For, uh, Jennifer Hale. She okay. sized up Quill with a rueful gaze. Then turned her attention upward. I sense you there too. Rueful. That's not a word you hear in video games that often. It's an old timey word. This game is quaint. It's a little bit twee, I think you could say. Youthful warrior marched forward. Twee and quaint. I'm prepared to honor it's cutesy. Okay. champion's legacy. I like that you looked up Moss on, on Google there and Richard AOA showed up there from, Some, from the IT crowd. This is an impossible thing to find out. closer. <laughs> Also, Carrie Ann Moss. Yeah, yeah. Elizabeth Moss. <laughs> All right. Silence. <laughs> a lot of Moss. It was Argus who summoned us here, and now I see why. Young. Oops. Dang it. I'm ah, sorry. We <laughs> get the gist. <laughs> to the glass of your Magic Kingdom. <laughs> yes. Swords. It's all interesting. No. I like how the story is told. It's interestingly no done. There's this, which has been going up as I've been playing it. And it's hard for me to tell. It might be because you see the 315. Mm -hmm. Every yeah. time I hit stuff, I collect that stuff. I don't really know what it does. So is I'm not like, sure what happens when that gets full. I'm also not sure if that's like, hey, this is how far you actually are in the game because I like picked an earlier chapter. So I'm not sure what that is. It's like the fun sand art thing you get at the fair. Yes, exactly. I like this. Um, but I'm in a library. <laughs> and also the 26 up in the corner there, that's these like collectible scrolls I've gotten, which fills it's out this picture. I, I filled out a lot of it. Anyway, let's uh, let's get started. Take it's the weird ghost man from Spirited Away. I feel like he looks like the dude oh, yeah. from Pan's Labyrinth. A little bit. I get Miyazaki references now. Wow. That's, you know, that's good. I know that ghost man. He's cool. Yeah. Um. So this is Quill. Hi, Quill. Hello. Can you guys see her? Oh, She's yeah. Pretty oh, gosh. I, I squashed her a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> Look, I can pet her. You trying to kill me or what? <laughs> She's the best. Well, all right. If you're going to pet my head, that's all right. Um. So she can run around. She can jump. She can slash her sword, uh, she can dodge, all that good stuff. So the combat I don't think does anything uh, particularly new. Uh, I will say it's much more challenging in the VR than it looks, we've discovered. Mm -hmm. We have all we have all tried this. Yes. Uh, and part yeah. of the reason we all tried this is because <laughs> just watching it on the screen, it just looks like, you know, a platformer, like a little yes. action platformer. You know, it's not anything like, like super uh, amazing, but 
in there's, the game, I'm getting like such amazing depth here. It's like yes. truly beautiful. Can I can behind look you? behind me and see like this rivery thing, and it like feels like I'm here. It feels very immersive. I kind of look down this way, and as you can see, so like she is obviously a small mouse, right? But she is in a like normal sized world. So there's a lot of miniature stuff designed for mice, but I still feel like I am my normal size. Like I don't feel like I'm a weird giant but I also don't feel like I'm a small mouse. Like they do a good job of feeling like, oh, I still feel like I'm me and a human, Yes. Um, but in this mouse The world. scale seems to play in VR much better than it does. It does. Totally. So you played this uh, and I was watching it uh, and we actually, I needed to jump in to see. Yes. Because <laughs> I was like, hmm, I don't know. Yeah. This, this, this seems like a cool platformer. Why is everybody getting all crazy about moss? Uh, and oh boy yep. it, listen the charm factor is off the scale that's that's a given but mm -hmm. I, I really can't overstate that the diorama feel of it when you're in vr like the closeness yeah. of it like watching on the screen it looks similar to me i, I can't remember the name of it. it was the darksiders developers made a game i think it started with a c uh and it had this kind of perspective but it didn't work that well in vr either oh, whereas shit. this one once you put it on it really does make a difference totally yes every time i put the, like the VR headset for this game, I'm always just like, wow, I just want to keep playing it. Like, it's beautiful. I want to see more of it. Uh, and I, I, I am really enjoying it so far. Um, so one of the main mechanics is I have my hand here. So I, I am controlling her, but I also control stuff with my real hand. Yeah, and I, I can grab stuff. Yes, the controller, as uh -huh. they call it in the business. <laughs> um, and then I can move basically most metallic stuff, uh, like this weird coppery green stuff, mm -hmm. um, I can move. So it's stuff that glows like blue when you hover over yes, it, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. Um, and I can even pick her up. You can't tell because her health is fine. I'll show you later, but I can pick her up as well. And That's how her. I heal her. I can also pet her. Yeah, so when I was playing it, <laughs> when I was watching you play, I was like, all right, I get it. The combat mm -hmm. seems like you dodge things or whatever. Yeah, there's puzzles. Yeah. Uh, but when I was playing it, it seems like they really want you to try, and at least in some of the combat Will's arenas. favorite story. How Sir Argus fought beside the Sprite Champion to seal this temple from the Arcane and secured the survival of their kind. Did he drink the most Sprite? <laughs> he saved everyone. He got them out of the, the village of the evil stuff. I, I was the By 1997 Sprite Champion. By drinking Sprite. <laughs> I'm sorry, the S to the P to the R I T E. Um, this ah. area specifically in VR I think is gorgeous. I think it looks absolutely amazing. Um, I, I don't think this probably does justice for you guys, but it looks so good. It seems really good about where it positions the camera to give you kind of a, yes, a sense of place. Totally. And depth but and also, everything. you can kind of just move forward and look around, right? Yes. So, <laughs> like, there will be times I've found most of the scrolls in these sections, but uh, where I can, like, look around a corner and I can see, oh, there's a scroll up there or a hidden collectible or, like, what's down this thing for, like, mm -hmm. some kind of puzzle reason or, like, ugh, I'm, like, stuck with the VR, <laughs> yes, but you, you I can look pretty back. far. Uh, yeah, so what I was going to say is in the combat arena, is there's a lot of managing two things at once, controlling Quill mm -hmm. and then also using your little orb to manage a fight. Because when enemies come up, you can interact with them outside of Quill. You can yeah. use your Yes, your you can like grab them. It's uh, somewhat limited, but yes, totally. Um, you can also just fucking kill them. Kill me old-fashioned way, you know mm. what I'm saying? Mm. You can try. I was having a lot of Oh, a little, little game of sorty stabby is what <laughs> you're talking about. You know. Um, so this is where I find, usually in these jars, you saw it a bit earlier, but I've already smashed all these. That's where I'll find like that 317 stuff, okay. which I still don't really know what it's Sprite. for. One Sprite. day I'll, I'll learn. You find Sprite. I'm trying very hard to make it so you guys can see too. <laughs> okay. your thirst. And, and without shaking your head around, mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Uh, I've seen people play without the constraints of trying to do a quick look, <laughs> and <laughs> I will say the camera shakes a lot. Was I doing that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> but I also thought you, were do I thought you were doing it as a bit. No, not at all. But <laughs> also, uh, the VR stuff, which I think y'all probably don't see as well, is like, I now see, like, I move that thing so she has a nice passage through this section, mm. right? And like, I see behind there, there's like a hidden thing. There was a scroll here. I already got it, please. <laughs> um, but... You kind of get these sort of hidden areas that you wouldn't necessarily notice. Right. It just looks like poor uh, game design otherwise. Yes, exactly. It just looks like, oh, they have this stuff that's like, how would you ever know that? But you absolutely would. Like, um, like this to me is still one of the fundamental challenges of VR that have not necessarily been uh, solved by anything but like the most active VR games, which is that putting them in a presentation where people can watch people play VR yeah. very rarely... 
like denotes what the experience of the person with the headset on actually is. Well, I, totally. I think this also does a good job of, you know, the PSVR doesn't have like the room scale type stuff that Vive has where you can yeah. really walk around, but this right. still has parts where it helps to like kind of stand up and look around mm. and give you a little bit of that sense without requiring a full, you know, swath of room. But that's the thing with this is that like when you're when you're when you have the headset on and you know you're kind of in these little arena areas and you're in these little puzzle zones like the way that you're so close to it and yeah. the way that you can just kind of like peek around every little corner and sort of just like observe that detail like up at that scale mm -hmm. is super important for like making this compelling. Yeah. Definitely. And, and uh again like I'll say when I was watching this again, when I was watching Abby play this uh originally it was one of those things of like, is VR really necessary for this? Right. And, and then, it looks just like another platformer. Uh, yes. And I will say the combat doesn't look that exciting or anything. Right. Uh, but it's much more fun while you're in it. It's also more challenging than you maybe <laughs> yes, think it is. Totally. Also, uh, I got hit earlier, so I'll show you how I can heal. It's a little difficult when I have stuff going after me. Okay, I'll do it after I kill these guys. I think you can do it. Yeah, I can. Uh, there cool. You go. So now you see your backpack is no longer blue. Uh, I believe she can get hit like three times generally, um, but I shake, I shake the controller, and then she's back. We're you back in business. The, you shook the injury out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exactly. So I was saying before to you guys, like the thing this kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, is Zack and Wiki for the Wii. Yeah. Which is not necessarily in like exact design, but like the way that it is harnessing the technology and building these sort of puzzle rooms around that technology. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And, and, and that game did really well, unfortunately. Yes. You know, well, it, well, no, it, it, it did it, the gimmick, it, the, the motion stuff really well. Yeah, it it's still one of the best really Wii well. games, but nobody bought it. One of the best third party Wii games. Yeah, totally. Sure. It's Capcom, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. I really like Zack and Wiki. It's a good game. It was also very charming. Yeah. Um, yeah. Another thing I really like about this game is uh, it, I, it feels like Quill here has like a real sense of weight, mm -hmm. right? Like I feel like uh, it seems like she's like a real mouse with who weighs like what a mouse would. I just want to like pick her up and hold her in my hand. <laughs> yes, the, a little pattering and yes. uh, scampering is done very well. The audio design is, yes, very well done. Like you can hear her panting sometimes she's running around and I really like that. She'll also tell you what to do sometimes if you're getting stuck. Which is also very enjoyable. So kind of motion toward yeah. Yeah, look over there. Let's switch over there. What are you there. doing? Come on, idiot. Uh, it definitely has. Uh, when I first heard about this, some of the I don't know if any of you have ever seen Mouse Guard stuff or uh, even like Secret of Nim. Uh, I have seen Secret of Nim. Uh, maybe not as tragically dark, right? As Secret of Nim, uh, with those kind of vibes to it. Or um. what is it? Tales of Depenu or something else? I don't know. There's a lot of like mice with swords. So. <laughs> really? So you're a genre? It's kind of. <laughs> you are manipulating that beetle. Yes. So the beetles are made of metal. They're like little robot bugs. And I can pick, I can sort of move them and manipulate them here and there. And if I put them on the button, they fall asleep. I should um, say again for the people who are watching this, Abby's view shows a lot more of the oh, bottom I'm sorry. of the screen. Yes. No, it, it's no, no, fine. No, no. It, it's like impossible for you to know. And we're actually getting most of it. Okay. Yeah. Let uh, me know if I need to adjust. And but for you, it's not off screen. Right. No. Um, and this is, I think, is another area that's a very good example of, like, there's a lot of stuff hidden in the kind of 3D that, like, you might not see in this sort of 2D capture. When I look around a corner, I might be like, okay, I can run over there. Or, like, there's a passage over here, or whatever it is, or, like, here's a switch, uh, which is not probably shown off particularly well for you guys, I would say. And you've done all this stuff. Today. I have. I've done it all, and then I watched you guys do it, so I'm quite familiar. Oh, you've done it all. You've done mm -hmm. it all. Um, right, actually, I want you to stay on it. Um, cool, but I do, I don't know. I really like a lot of the platforming puzzles. Um, I do find some of the sections to be, or I, I'll, like, I'll get annoyed with here. I'll, I'll show you. It takes a, kind of a while to respawn if, let's say, I fall off the edge. She falls uh, forever. <laughs> oh, wow. Jeez. Um, sometimes it's longer, sometimes it's shorter. I think it's like partially a loading thing, but she will fall sometimes forever, and then I have to reload, and usually gotcha. it's like, ugh, I made a dumb mistake, and like, I don't love platforming that much, so it's usually just like, more annoying than it's worth. So there's no, there's no like, hey, they're not like giving you an opportunity to catch her or do anything, she's just off screen no. in her falling animation. she's just falling, okay. which is like fine, it doesn't happen that often, but when it does, it's usually over something stupid, and it's just annoying. You know what would be a real easy fix for that? What? 
just have like a little mouse scream that goes on for a little while. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Good 20, 30 seconds. Yeah. Like one of those where like you have to take another deep breath to <laughs> keep it going. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry, come on, brother. Oh, shit. And just have her uh, also just go, oh, God, I'm still falling. Oh, God. <laughs> Why? Just, just cut. Let me die. Let me die before I hit the ground. Just cut away. Okay, here we go. Uh, she does not speak, right? Uh, no, she'll have little grunts and stuff you can hear. Hi. Aw. It's a pretty cute mouse. Mm-hmm. She can pull these levers. She's very clever. They're tiny levers. Mm-hmm. Tiny clever levers. Yes. You guys ever get mice in your house? In your uh-huh. apartments? Yeah. Um, I have cats. So Do they really really... take care of them? Yeah, absolutely. That sounds awesome. I don't have any rodents. Like, I, I lived in an apartment a long time ago that was disgusting, and I hated it. But anyway, I like the second the cats got in there, we never saw a mouse again. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. My grandparents used to get mice, but we never had them like growing up. We had a major problem in San Francisco. Hmm. Yeah, I had them in San Francisco, I had them in New York. I think every city probably yeah, has them. Yeah, I feel like Boston had them too, because there's a lot of really old buildings. Wait, no, that's not. I'll take mice over bugs any day. Any oh, day yeah, me day. too. Well, bugs don't tend to leave as as noticeable at droppings behind no. as, as the mice do. <laughs> no, but get I also your cereal. I do. Feel, well, they will get into your food. Will they? Oh, uh, some bugs. Will. Yeah, no bugs will. Ugh, I hate Gross. it. Uh, but I do feel like a bug infestation is just like this is out of my control. Right, it's a nightmare. Yeah, no one is saying either scenario is good. <laughs> no. no, both bad. Uh, so this is another instance where being able to see around the corners helps. Which yes. Y'all probably and again, like you can maybe like, a little unpleasant for you guys right now. <laughs> but again, when you have the but. headset on, like the angle makes a lot more sense, and you can really see much more of what's going yes, on there. Totally. I, I feel like I can't understate how cool I was on this until I played it. Yeah. Uh, and then realized it's kind of amazing, or at least the ex- the game experience is uh, com- so much more immersive than the yeah. game appears. I can like see why even- VR is required. Yes. Oh, cool. I can move this thing. Yeah. But even like these little gargoyle guys <laughs> are so cute and so well done and just like add such flavor and kind of personality to the space. And you have sort of this nice, like we can see the depth of the forest. Uh, it's just very well done. Mm-hmm. It looks really nice. It's a very, very good immersive experience um, with also like good platforming puzzlers and whatnot. And a very cute mouse. And a very cute mouse. She's very charming and I love her a lot. <laughs> You haven't finished it yet, right? I have not finished it. I think I'm pretty close. I've played a few hours of it, but I haven't finished it yet. Thirty dollars. Thirty bucks. Thirty bucks worth your time, worth your money. I say, especially if you have, like, if you have PSVR, absolutely. If you were maybe considering getting it, I think perhaps now is the time. It seems like more stuff is coming out for PSVR, um, and I also think there's enough of a backlog with like Resident Evil Seven, and like there was that mystery game I played. Uh, where I think it's totally worth your time. Plus, Vinny, I mean, that Rick and Morty game is coming to oh, the yeah, Vinny. Time. So that's, you know, I mean, that's right up your alley. Oh, mm. I didn't even notice Vinny's wearing his Rick and Morty shirt today. Damn. Uh, he wears it every day. Uh, also, he's drooling in a weird way. <laughs> oh, boy, I just got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that I roasted you it's so just... thoroughly that you you, you could, not, uh, could not handle it. Oopsies. Um, enjoy Rick and Morty too. It's okay. Uh, I, I mean, listen. But are you a Mord head? Uh, I don't know if I go that is far. Is that a thing people say? I don't know that it is. <laughs> no, I don't know that it is. It's, it's a Rick head. Thank you. Oh, okay. Sorry. See the doctor? You're a Ricker. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's too close to my last name. Great. Okay, here we go. Ha ha! Yay! <laughs> yeah, I high love five. that so much. I get the high five. You might as well just have also, the quick look now. Also, she's bossy and is like pointing at stuff. Uh, but this is another thing that I think shows her like weight really well. Of like, ooh, wow, yeah. yeah. ooh, it's, the sway. it's very nicely done. So th- one of the things that was a little weird to me when I was watching you play was you have agency as this orb in this world, mm-hmm. but then you also have direct control of this mouse's soul and movements I in this do. world. It's so- also like I'm acknowledged, like they call you the reader. Like it is acknowledged that you are a separate being yeah. that she can see. <laughs> and then you're just basically like sh- she's on autopilot at your disposal to be right. like, control my body. You are both the puppet and the puppet master. Yes. Exactly. Uh, oh. I love to light fires. Mm. Uh, I also love, look at these like guinea pig things. Oh yeah, that's, that's They're so cool. <laughs> Pigs. Yes. 
be really amazing if one day somebody just stumbles on a tiny little world like <gasps> this and oh just gosh. like I would listen go nuts. We can't tell anybody about this. Were the uh, Lilliputians, were they tiny or was Gilligan or, uh, Gilligan. Big? Gilligan Gilligan was, yeah, Gilligan. Gilligan was huge. Wait, what's the guy I know Gulliver. Lilliputans? Gulliver. Yes. Gulliver. Gilligan. So was he wasn't was Gulliver huge off? or was Lilliputians? No, the Lilliputians were, were, were tiny. Okay, all right. Uh, but I, I think, I want to say in Gulliver's Travels, he also goes to a place where there are gigantic Oh, people. shit. Oh, okay. So it's like uh, World 4 of Mario 3. Y yeah, okay. prob probably. We'll go with that. Okay. Oh shit. This is probably not the most efficient way to do it. I'm gonna have to jump back up on that thing. Uh, and now these guys, have we seen these yet? I don't know if we have. We have no. we, I can shoot with them. How do you do that? Uh, with the right, uh, you can it's like a twin stick shooter. Yeah. Oh, so exactly. the right analog stick? Yes, whatever it's called. And then so they. It seemed like when I was playing, they are under your control while you're holding down R2, but until you hit them once. Yes. And then it seems like they kind of break their days. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Don't die. Heal thyself, mouse. Um, and that healing mechanic is uh, can be tough when there are a ton of enemies. Like, I find that the amount of time it takes to heal them... Jesus, stop <laughs> it! Oh, no. They really knock you off, too. Yeah, oops. That's a jerk. But the amount of time it takes to heal them uh, is enough time for a bunch of guys to swarm you. So by the time you're done healing them, it's oh Jesus, stop yeah, it! This, I was having trouble with this section. Kind I of got it fine before. Yeah, but. it's uh, I seem to recall um, a little thing we like to call quick luckitis, mm -hmm. where it all goes fine <laughs> until you start recording. <laughs> Never happened no, to any was, of us, but I've heard tales. I about did fine it. in that section. To be fair, she also handled that way faster than I did. Oh yeah, and I wasn't even recording. Wee. So for the most part, Abby, has this been kind of uh, set pieces that you puzzle your way through? Yeah. Uh, nothing. Like little rooms, nothing really huge to explore. No, I mean, you'll have sections that aren't indoors. Like a lot of these so far have been indoors. Mm -hmm. uh, but you absolutely have sections. Like when we first left kind of her village, she was running through the village and you saw like the other mice who lived there and like the outsides of their homes. Um, okay. So you get kind of a more full experience, I guess. But I will say uh, all the little dioramas, the little tableaus have all been very nice. Um, I really, I have... I've been very wowed by them. And like we've said a million times, mm -hmm. better in VR. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like this is a game that only works in VR, I think. Like, Well, I, I feel like it at least has the impact that yes. makes it special. Yes, totally. Because, you know, watching it, it's very charming. Yeah. This is where they teach you how to shoot. Get up there, dude. Crab bullets. <laughs> Oops, stop it. Oh. Mm-hmm. 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 Nice. There we go. Nothing but net. Ready yeah. to die? Here we go. Die, die, die. Okay, good. Aww. What other uh, good PSVR games are there? Uh, the, God, the one I really liked, uh, obviously RE7. I thought, well, yeah. yeah. So, What's so far? Far point. Far point. Far point was oh, all right. Yeah. It, it's like it, a shooter, right? I didn't play a lot of it, but I what I played of it was was okay. Super Hot VR. I know it's not exclusive. Oh yeah. But it's it's uh, yeah. Is yeah. it good with the controller still? I mean, the standard Super Hot is. I mean, they're basically two different games. Yeah. And uh, they, they're both great. They're just riffs on the same idea. Yeah. It, right. It, it I love Super Hot. That's probably my favorite VR experience at all. But this is uh definitely. It's definitely up there. I, I really don't even know how many PSVR experiences. Well, that was just VR in general. Yeah. My PSVR experience. Oh, I forgot uh, that Gran Turismo Sport. This is definitely my favorite. like a VR oh, mode to it. Oh, yeah, that's right. I like Job Simulator. It. It's yeah. good for just oh, being that yeah. gimmicky VR thing, you know? A lot of folks really like that Res and oh, VR. Oh, yeah, Res. Res oh, and VR Res. was dope. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, Thumper and VR is kind of cool. It definitely doesn't oh, cool. need to be VR, but I, I liked it. Yeah. Yeah, everyone kept asking me when I was talking up that game, like, do I have to play it in VR? It's like, no. absolutely not. Play it on any platform and you're fine, but the VR thing is cool. Yeah, 95% of my time with that game has been non-VR. Yeah, and it still totally rules. Oh, yeah. You have it on Switch? 
Uh, I do. It's I think I had that game on like three different platforms yeah, now. Yeah. Wow. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's a really good game. Res? Uh, th 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 oh, Thumper. Yeah, I have it on my Xbox and I enjoy it. Um. Oh, yes, I see. Res is also very good. Uh, so even this, like, the depth here is so nice and lovely of these stairs. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan. Of stairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just love stairs. Just, <laughs> can there be more game stairs, please? And, like, you can hear, like, panting and running around. Or <laughs> Pitter pattering. Feet. Very nice animation. It's the biggest gaming staircase you can think of. I'd say going up that tower in Metal Gear Solid mm. 1. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I uh, remember a lot of long ladders. I don't necessarily remember a lot of long staircases. Also Metal Gear Solid. Uh, boy, I want to say Dark Souls always had like a decent amount of staircases. Yeah. End of Ocarina of Time when Ganon's playing the piano up there. Hmm. The long one. Offhand, I can't really remember. I definitely know there have been some games. I've, Ninja Gaiden, I want to feel like I ran. There was a staircase you had to run up the new Ninja Gaiden or whatever. But that's what, new, like 2003 yeah. or whatever. Uh, had with the fish chests on it. Do you remember that? The fish chests. Wait, the weird ghost floaty fish. ghost fish. I hate those. And things. they were like, they were like a there was like a long spiral staircase that just ran up around. Yeah, I would have to nunchuck those ghost fish. I hated those. I feel like long staircases were a big thing in games that had fixed cameras. Hmm. Like yeah, long windy staircases because probably in first person not so fun. Right. Or th even in third person where you have camera control, just running in a circle. Yeah. What'd you find, Abby? Treasure. Wee! So when shield. I first got this, and when uh, Vinny first saw it, we were like, "It's a shield." It's a shield. Uh, it's not a shield. No. It's a tool that we need for later. Okay. A shield is a tool. This is mm -hmm. true, but um, unfortunately, that's not how we're using this one. Oh. Uh, have you? There are no upgrade systems for weapons or anything. Like that. They use not that I've right? seen. So like, she was given in that kind of story tableau that we saw in the beginning. She was given this kind of arm piece and green sword. Mm -hmm. um, but otherwise, that's it. What's the arm I've piece seen. do? Um, I think just gives her like the power of her people or something. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we. Uh, no falling damage as far as I can tell. Thank God. It all seems like the distances you're falling are, other than those yes. pits, aren't aren't super crazy. True. Mice are hardy. Yeah. I wonder how long it's going to be. Uh, you know what? It stop the clock because somebody's done it where they have dressed their pet mouse up as Quill. Oh my God. Or they have dressed up as Quill. Dude, I would. Ears. That's got to be one cooperative mouse. You have pet mice? Yeah, yeah, totally. My sister used to have pet rats. Rats are super smart. Really? You can tickle rats. I thought you could just buy them like feed the snakes. I mean, sometimes really you can. do, but you can have them as pets too. I mean, oh, you weird. can have hamsters. And so yeah, different. people have pet everything. So. Yeah. Uh, I will also say, uh, I'm sure it doesn't do it justice for you, but the depth in this section especially is so nice. This is one of the sections it's I like, know. It's really great. beautiful. And, and like, I'm sorry for people watching this who are like, get it, but it really is kind of striking. Yes. Like, I feel like, Vinny, your reaction was especially big after getting into it where you're immediately like, oh, wow, oh, yeah, oh, I, yes, this Yeah, is. like, yeah, definitely. I was I was pretty, like, generally saying to you, like, yeah, you know, isometric platformer, it's <laughs> just cute. Uh, well, it's like we said, like, this is, the, this is the challenge now, is finding ways to portray this stuff in a way so that people who are, don't necessarily have the headset on can understand what it is that right. makes this stuff so appealing. It's like that new Nicolas Cage movie. Exactly. Yeah, what is it, the Humanity Bureau? Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, I mean, look, the appeal of Nicolas Cage is clear, and no <laughs> yes. one needs to justify that, but, you know, why would I want to watch that thing in VR? Right. You know, someone has to be able to explain that or show that in a way that makes it seem worthwhile. Exactly. Film in 40s, VR, Nicolas Cage's Humanity yes. Bureau. All right, Abby. Okay. I've seen you do this. I have attempted this. Uh, it took it's, me a long time to do this. This is a arena. section that looks um, much easier than it is, I will say. It can be a little overwhelming and difficult. I'm going to do my best. So we are gonna try to unlock that door. To do that, we gotta go on this, go on this. Here we go. Oh, you did it, first try this time. Yeah, no problem, <laughs> easy peasy. Uh-oh, what's gonna happen? <laughs> That's always uh, a good sign. The gates of hell have opened. Yes. Here come the caco demons. Uh, I'm going to try my best to show the bottom of the screen this time. You, you can get in closer, too, if you need, right? Uh, Yes, but not right now. <laughs> and can you grab these? Yes, you can, but I find that it's not that helpful for me most of the time. I loved it. Yeah. When I was grabbing, I tried to grab stuff a lot, but also it's like playing the piano left hand, right hand right. style. It, it, you have to separate parts of your brain. 
Which side? Which side? Oh, good. Back side. Dog bottom. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Leave me alone. Gosh. Okay, this is a stupid. Okay, here so we go. So if you grab him now, is he incapable of shooting without your? Oh shit. But yeah. And he does get a little. Takes a little break. Yeah, he like has to kind of recharge. I'm not gonna worry about him because he'll die once I do this. Here we go, here we go, here we go, go! Oh, lose a chain! Come here! Uh, Watch out, you're gonna get shot! Fuck! He hide? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Whew. Do you need to stall him for a sec? Yeah. Go away. <laughs> Come on, yay! Yeah, I, I do also feel like when I started playing the kind of frenetic pace of some of these battles betrayed what looked like a very slow, charming platformer. Yes. Okay, yeah, but I could get up in here while yeah. we fight. Um, don't see, my peripherals are blocked, but <laughs> who cares? You can turn your head Anything if you need. for the quick look. Oh shit. Okay, let's get out of there. Uh, they will damage each other, right? Yes. I, I'm asking a question, I know the answer. <laughs> Um, at least the projectiles will. I'm not sure about these, like, swiping dudes. Dang it. You got it. Get out of here. Oh, God. Eh, please. Roast him. Fuck off. Okay. Which side? Which side? Oof. So this is sort of a section that's like dude after dude after dude after dude. Yeah. Um, which is fine. Okay. Dudes for days. Oh, here we go. I have to pay attention to which side's gonna go up, otherwise you miss it and then you can't get on and then you have to do it all over again. And I'll kill this dude this time too, so we don't have to worry about him. Oh, Jesus. He knew what you were coming for. Yeah, I shouldn't have told him I was gonna kill him. Dang it. Yeah, shoot you. Ah, I'm a pro. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. here we go. As you can see, the lanterns are like purple or red. That's sort of like all the different rounds you go through. Uh, and there are gonna be like three rounds in this section. You're saying you have to do this three times. Yes, so yeah. now we're on round two. Perish the thought. All right, die. I would like want to heal her, but I know <laughs> once I do, yeah. You'll be caught in that shit's gonna be after me. Cut. Okay, I need to get out of here. Uh, heal, heal, heal. Yeah. Uh, oh, but that's oh, kind they of. They are coming for I you. I know. God, that's not who I wanted to grab. You shoot this stuff. Watch out! <laughs> oh god, this is hard. Yeah, <laughs> this is a lot to keep track of. <laughs> Die! All right, you got, you okay. got a couple of them. Nice. <laughs> oh my god, just fucking die! Ooh. Oh, oh boy. boy. I'm okay. Alright, alright. Oh god. Come on! Oh boy, you did it. Oh my god, I'm fucking kicking ass in this <laughs> section right now, you don't even know! No, I, I can tell. That this is not fun, necessarily. It is fun, but it's hard! Yeah. Ooh. Yes! Nice. Yes! I'm good at games! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Very nicely done. Yeah! Did you see you're getting excited? Good oh. job, little buddy. Oh. Okay, we're kind of. Okay. Yeah, I know. Good job. <laughs> yeah, you did good. Good job. You're well, a good I did mousey. good. You just kind of were you're there. A good mouse. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. I know. I'm uh, an adventurer! <laughs> Here we go. You kind of did all the work, but. I've developed a taste for murder! <laughs>
You did the good stuff. I just feel the pain. Yeah. So we'll wrap up here. But this is another section that's just Ooh. beautiful in yeah. VR. It's like, because before everything was so small and compact, and now this just feels so grand and big and open. And like the lighting and shadow is amazing. Also, this is a very yeah. fun thing that I enjoy. It is Hello. Like some, it is like some, <laughs> some five, There's me. This is like some Fievel goes west meet Team Eco type shit. Finally. Yes. Move closer to the water. It's hard, Vinny. Yeah, all right, because you're like, ah! That's my face. That's your ghost face. Will felt oh, swell Killa. of pride as she approached the cavern river. Its guiding banks once led her people to safety after the Cinder Night. Now, all these years later, she would follow it back. All right, Quill, you ready? Hell yeah. <sighs> but this is Moss. I Wait, think dude, can you show my favorite part? Okay, yes. It's the next screen. This? No. This does look amazing, though. Look at her on her little boat. Yeah, it is a very little boat. <laughs> oh, I can't see my reflection anymore. Can you grab her here? No, she's oh, too, she's far. too far away. Oh, but it looks so nice. It looks yeah, so nice. it does. It looks nice. But it doesn't play that well. <laughs> as I like, know it does. I mean, it does on VR, but like right. as a capture. My favorite. Part. Vinny, do you want to kill her? No, I want you to go swimming. Oh God, you're mean, but okay. What? She can't swim. Here we go. <laughs> Abby, before, Abby so when I was playing, so I was like, "Oh, can she go in the water?" And it's like, "Oh no, she can't." Yeah, you like wanted to say hi to yourself. Yeah, so I wanted like, to go. Look, look we love this mouse. Hi, you're my favorite mouse, and you know what? Die. <laughs> oh, God, just instant. <laughs> Vinny, what the hell? <laughs> Vinny, what the hell? <laughs> I guess it was my favorite part because I was like, oh, could she go into water? Oh, no, she stopped at the waterfront. And I just walked forward. <laughs> like, <laughs> just walked her to her doom. And Abby and I were both like, oh, God. Uh, uh, yeah, this is really It looks nice. amazing. Yeah. Like, I feel like I'm out on the beach somewhere. What's kind behind of you? Sitting in a tide pool. I don't know, rocks, rocks. rocks. cliffs and shit. Okay. Yeah, but this is Moss. Thanks, uh, Abby. If you have a PSVR, definitely. If you were like on the fence, I think this is maybe what might push you over. Um, and if you don't care about VR, then the fuck off. That's fine too. Pet the mouse. Fair enough. I will fuck off. Uh. <laughs> you don't have to fuck off. That was extreme. But oh my gosh, I love this mouse. Anyway. <laughs> Thanks, Abby. Thank you. Bye.